Hello fellow collectors and YouTubers, first of all hope you're all okay and um, as you can see I've got the new Sideshow 1.6 Snow Trooper to review but before I do that I just want to give out two shout outs first of all to Dino Last for reaching 3000 subs and uh, second of all to Flyguy.net for reaching 5k subs also I just want to point out to Fly Flyguy as you can see I've got my command degree at the back and he is posed using the crouching foot so it can be done anyway on to the uh, new uh, snow trooper it is a beauty first of all the box start at the front of course uh, the box uh, is different from others it's in a sort of matte instead of a uh, glossy black uh, doesn't make much difference though this is the exclusive so just a quick turn around some different poses and uh, some scenes from the film the web cannon firing off some blasters command degree entering echo base and vader uh, open it up it's a smaller box than usual because it's got less accessories so there's just the inside no two bits and uh, you can freeze frame that if you want to read it too much for me to read too much time get the light in will be better I hope you can make it that all out so enough of the box this is a Militaries of Star Wars line and I get on to the, what the figure comes with uh, start off with the exclusive this is a vintage blaster this is what came with the original Kenner three and three quarters snow trooper but I was going to pose it, it the figure with this but the it just can't handle it the, the hand can't um, handle it which I suppose makes sense and uh, the supporting hand doesn't hold the um, other side as well so my advice is skip the exclusive uh, it didn't really matter to me because it all cost the same skip the exclusive if you can find the um, regular cheaper elsewhere hands come with six these are the two hands that um, it comes with I don't know exactly what you would do with them uh, just a warning pegs are very loose on this so when changing hands be careful because the pegs will there is a chance that they will stay in uh, when changing them all hands come with pegs of course you get a fist only um, a right handed fist though uh, and you also get um, one to support the blaster I suppose ones that are on the figure at the moment you've got um, one to hold a blaster and you also got a sort of a, a commanding hand two fingers pointed out you get the um, regular blaster uh, turn it around I suppose these counters accessories you get the backpack um, this does not come attached but it's very easy to put on there's just some press studs on the back and little clips the either side and you've also got the thermal detonator and probably the best accessory in my opinion is the um, snow pack uh, this does not come with it you just get the regular black one I took this off to one of the exclusives of the uh, snow of the commander I think it was commander Cody you get this um, Thing that just goes over the regular base that you get to make it um, look like he's in the snow I think it's really good I should have included these with the um, sand troopers you only got it in with the deluxe one uh, I don't know why they didn't include a white stand as well because the black one sticks out like a sore thumb the actual figure really fantastic I think the snow trooper always looks so menacing the um those slits and uh if I just put the camera down for a sec it'll stay 
massive articulation in the head. I don't know if you can make that out, but he's got so much room up there. Uh, this here is just like a flexible plastic, really good. Uh, the rest of it, I'll see if we, it's, it's sort of like a velvety material. Uh, the cape at the back, no wire in there, but it, it does just hold itself really nicely. Uh, you've got pouches here. Now that uh, they've made this, hopefully they'll make Dengar, seeing as he's basically wearing the same uniform. Uh, you don't get any crouching feet with this. There is very limited posability in the feet, just left, right, really. But it looks like he's just wearing a pair of boots with absolutely um, no seam in there. Really nicely done on both sides. So it looks really, really good. Let's show that around. You can hardly see the joint in there. It really does look nice. Fantastic figure, I think. I'll just show detail on the backpack. So, really limited accessories on this, but I suppose that's just because we've got so used to seeing the clones with their infinite hands and feet and um, all the blasters and uh, pistols. So, I suppose we've been sport for choice uh, recently. And then we just get um, one that just comes with one blaster, two if you count the exclusive. But yeah, I, I'm loving this figure. I just think he looks so menacing. It was. Uh, it's going to be a busy week for me as well. I've got um, finally Busk is coming. I'll just show you, you can really pose him, and also the Black Widow premium format. You have got. Massive room of articulation there. Really good. Have him looking down. I didn't get the e web cannon, just too much for me. This figure alone is good, but um, I've seen a review of it. Check out um, Hot Chicks Cool Toys for a breakdown of this figure uh, and. Um, the E Web Cannon and a uh, great review of the Stormtrooper, of course. Jay and Wendy always do great reviews. Uh, this doesn't really come painted, just weathered, I suppose, to um, replicate what the uh, vintage blaster did look like because um, all of the weapons were basically black um, in the Kenner days. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that um, review. Uh, there'll be some more probably this week. Uh, it's a fantastic figure, highly recommended. Uh, base looks fantastic, I think, with the white. So, and it's just a shame about that not being black, but you could easily just paint it up. Uh, I'll, I'll probably do paint this so it all matches up. Anyway, peace to all, take care.